Whiskey sells out O2 Arena in 12 minutes. Wow. Yeah, so this is like a history now. Yeah. People have been to O2 Arena, they've sold out concerts, like, I mean, for a month, two months, yeah, but in 12 minutes, you know, you can see that. What is the intake first before we go into the story? Well, I want to understand this properly. Yeah. 12 minutes, as in. Once the ticket, you know, mm -hmm. online, mm -hmm. one I mean, it is open. Even at 12 o'clock, it is open. You can now purchase your ticket. Okay. And then when it was open, 12, exactly 12 o'clock, 12, 12, ticket sold out. Wow. Well, what can we say? These guys have paid their dues. Yeah. I mean, Whiskey is a huge brand mm -hmm. in Nigeria, in Ghana, South Africa, Tanzania, so, America. So in Africa and in the world. I mean, Whiskey has paid its dues. So yeah. It's history and we are happy and I think mm. it's not news enough. It's, it's, it's okay. We're expecting greater works. Okay, so let's just read some few, something small before we do some talking about it. Nigeria's Whiskey has sold out the O2 Arena in London ahead of its Made in Lagos concert. So I question the album you know, and the concert. The ticket for the one-off show happening on November 28th in the 20,000 capacity venue ran out in a record 12 minutes after the sales went live. Taking to Twitter and Instagram, Whiskey broke the news to fans writing sold out the O2 in 12 minutes. Love you, London. So this was the news. Wow. But I, he's not the first artist to have sold out O2 Arena. Yeah, sure. So we have, sure, sure. I, I made some research, we saw that we have some five African artists you probably didn't know sold out global concert venues. Okay. That is who we are referring to the O2 Arena. Okay. So some artists like um, Whiskey himself, Davido, Casper Nuvez, Burner Boy, and our own Shatawali. These five yeah. artists have sold out O2 Arena. So it's not like he's the first artist to sell out O2 Arena, but doing it in 12 minutes is making this thing news. So what is your intake on this? Well, well, well. Like I said initially, mm. Whiskey is a huge brand. Okay. And this gentleman, he at a point, he, he he had to relocate to US, you know, to stay there for a while. And even he has, I think he has a house at you know, uh, Los Angeles. To think. be able to acclimatize properly, he had to move. Some of our big boys but have to learn. Mostly, the, the whole of his is in Ghana. I agree. I'm not, I'm not talking about this here. I get it, I get it. I get so, it. when it has to do with promo, he can go everywhere no to, you know, okay. promote okay. his stuff. Okay. He understands the business. Mm. And so, I think most of our guys need to learn from him. He's young, but he's he, he's living it, you know. So, Whiskey, Whiskey came out. Whiskey and Sarkozy came out, I, I believe, the same era. Mm -hmm. they, they stood at the same era and came out. Do you think Sarkozy can sell out to in 12 minutes? <sighs> Well, there's a nation, no? there's something called a nation. Some of these things, <laughs> <laughs> some of these things, mm. we are not supposed to compare some yeah. way, somehow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because Sakwadi also has this, this concert, history in the making Apollo, concerts, Apollo, and that was huge. Yeah, Sakwadi also sold out Apollo, it was huge, okay. you know. So, uh, well, they are all making their name big, mm. you know. So, yeah, so even regarding to what you said, uh, mm. Sakwadi recently on interview said something, he said, Bernard Boy isn't the first Afrobeat artist to sell out Apollo. I did it before him because recently, you know, that this is a Bernard Boy because he has sold out Apollo. He's the first artist to do that and blah, blah, blah. So, so I got the recent open with the new pressure album, you know, okay. with Andy Dusty on Hit FM, you know, said now. Bernard Boy is not the first Afrobeat art to sell out Apollo. Okay. He did it first. So I think that's the venue Sakwa also okay. sold out. So the history in the making concerts was huge. It was huge. You know, I I I still watch it on YouTube. Okay. I mean it was beautiful. I mean, I mean that one that was true, that's true. You know, so Kinsak has 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 also, you know, is it these guys are making it big outside. Yeah. So Whiskey is huge and so congratulations to him. But there's a lot that the big boys can learn. Okay. Yeah. But I think this guy, Whiskey, the brand in there, I said, I'm going for him. That one, you see, his is relevance it, is has... in Ghana here, you know, one of the circles, which may try a decade, see, you know. Yeah. People expect, say, like, I brought him for IBN in terms say, like, he's exceed the time he's supposed to fall. Yeah, sure. Because I had the ice, only a 10 years past the not just a was so win. Which I tell you, I was so there, I was starting to go from, but I was afraid now, I didn't wire in home. So, but in this case, Whiskey, Davido, they feel like these people, they are not stopping anytime soon. Yeah. I feel crap on my day. I mean, after 12 years of Whiskey being in music, now I feel that with me in 12 minutes, I just say, I can't watch with There's something they are doing. So, right. I think maybe uh, Ghana artists, you know, Shatawale, Stoneboy, they should pick some lines from him. Though he's young, but the uh, music, they're in front of the young group. Yeah. Because yeah. Okan America, when we say, I'm going to sell it out in the Yamanyama. So, your last words, then we just close down on this story. 
well 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 we all have to learn you know yeah. i'm an artist myself i feel we just need to learn there are dynamics in music mm -hmm. and so once you want to stay at one place you're not moving okay. you know so yeah let's all learn and speed up all right, all right. shouts to whiskey and um shout out to everybody and to you mr tom shouts <laughs>